Please take a few moments and review these two charts, noting the engineering units used in measuring electricity. Now let's take a, a few minutes uh, and, and just review a little bit the transmission flaws uh, in, in, uh, in telecommunication devices. I'll be going into this much more in Module 8 uh, when we talk about network cabling systems and so forth. But for now, uh, let me just review these. Uh, these are the most important uh, aspects uh, regarding uh, transmission flaws. Uh, noise is unwarranted interference from external sources which can degrade or distort a signal. Attenuation is a loss of signal strength as it travels away from its source. Crosstalk is the introduction of spurious signals and interference from internal cables or wire pairs. An amplifier is an electronic device that increases the voltage or power of the signals. Regeneration occurs when digital signals are repeated that are actually retransmitted in their original pure form without any noise. Repeaters uh, are devices that regenerate a digital signal. Bandwidth is the range of frequencies between the highest and lowest that a transmission medium can carry in a given period of time. Transfer throughput transmission or bit rate is the speed with which transmission media carries data expressed in bits per second and depends on the media's bandwidth in its transmission. And again, all this will be uh, repeated again in Module 8 and we'll go into uh, data transfer rates and, uh, and uh, the transmission flaws in much greater detail uh, in, in, in Module 8. Take a few minutes and note the data transfer rates of various systems and physical media. You have learned in this module on the principles of electrical circuits and telecommunication signals the following. When electrical current is manipulated, it can generate and transmit information as signals. The three main characteristics of a circuit are voltage, current, and resistance. If two of the characteristics are known, the third can be calculated using Ohm's law, which states that the amount of current flowing through electrical circuit is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance. There are two distinct types of electrical current, direct current and alternating current. In direct current, electrical charge flows steadily in one direction over the conductor. In alternating current, the electrical charge flows in one direction first, then in the opposite direction, then back in the first direction, and so on. In an alternating fashion over the conductor. AC voltage follows a sine wave in which the strength of the voltage is, voltage is indicated by the wave's amplitude and the number of times each second the wave cycles from its starting point through a full oscillation back to its starting point and it's known as frequency. Frequency is measured in hertz. Device, uh, devices useful for controlling current include capacitors, inductors, and transformers. A wire may be coiled around a conductor core, such as an iron, to produce an electrical ma uh, magnet, which is a specific type of inductor. Electromagnetics are used in motors and some telecommunication devices. Electrical power is a circuit. Uh, electrical power in a circuit is a multiple of its current and voltage. In other words, voltage times current equals uh, power. 
In a circuit, voltage is measured by a voltmeter, current is measured by an amp meter, and resistance is measured by an ohmmeter. A device that can measure all three of these variables is called a multimeter. An oscilloscope measures the change in voltage over time on an AC circuit. Electronics is a field that deals with the behavior of electrical charge as it flows in a vacuum in gases and in semiconductors. In general, the term electronics apply to power controls and communication devices such as computers, whereas electricity applies to motors, lights, and appliances. Electronic devices may be either passive or active. Examples of passive devices are capacitors and inductors. Examples of active devices are transformers and diodes. Integrated circuits contain many tiny components in one enclosed unit. They are inexpensive, reliable, small, and they require little power and generate relatively little heat. Analog refers to signals that are used uh, that use verbal voltage to create continuous waves resulting in an inexact replica of the original message. Digital signals are composed of pulses of zero voltage and precise positive voltage that represent values of either zero or one respectively. The use of ones and zeros to encode information is known as a binary system. Every pulse in a digital signal is called a binary digit or bit. A bit can only have a value of one or zero, which equate to the on and off respectively. Eight bits together form a byte. Digital transmission is a more reliable uh, uh, transmission method than analog. Because of their reliability, digital signals can be transmitted uh, at higher rates for longer distances and with higher quality than analog signals. Noise is unwanted interference from external sources that may degrade a signal. It affects both analog and digital signals, but affects analog signals much more than much more profoundly. Attenuation is a loss of a, of a signal strength as it travels further away from its source. To compensate for attenuation, both analog and digital signals are boosted en route to travel farther. However, analog signals may pass, and, uh, pass through an amplifier, whereas digital signals are regenerated in the original pure form. In the binary numbering system, each bit has a decimal equivalent of 2 to the power of its position if the bit is on, in other words, equal 1. This completes Module 2. Please review Quiz 2 and move on to Module 3.